So, welcome friends. Now, we are going to the advanced technologies in laparoscopy. So, this is a laparoscopy instrument machine. You can see the parts of laparoscopy machine are the following. You can see a monitor, this is a monitor in which what we are seeing inside the patient's abdomen, we can see on this monitor, this is a laparoscopy monitor. Coming next, the second one, this is a camera, this is a camera source here. So, this is one of my model, double one, double eight HD model. So, in this what we do is, we connect the wires, we have multiple wires, uh, like this we have wires which will connect the system. I am not showing you by connecting because I want you to know as an MCQ based. So, I am connecting that and I will be using this camera, this is a camera, you can see this is a 10 mm scope, this is a 10 mm scope, this will be connected to this. So, that what I am seeing inside, from what I am seeing inside I can see in this monitor, this is a scope. So, this is a 30 degree scope, if you observe very closely, this is not straight you see, this if I see like this, if I show like this, I, you, you will not be seen, you, it will be showing this angle. So, that is helpful in doing laparoscopy to go down, to go up and see structures. This is 30 degree scope I am having here. There are 0 degree scope is also there, this is a 30 degree scope, this is 10 mm scope, this is 5 mm scope. Similarly, I am having two scope, one is 5 mm, another is 10 mm. So, I have a two scope, one for uh, major surgeries, I use both the scopes. So, this is 10 mm and 5 mm scope we use for laparoscopy. So, this is a cam this is for connecting the camera source. Please do not forget this is for connecting the camera source we use this. And while doing surgery inside the abdomen, I need the light. So, that is given by this light source. You can see this is a light source. I can increase the light source. Okay, I can increase the power and I can show whatever the light source I needed, I can be showing through this. So, while I am operating inside, it is having a light source camera for scopy connection and the last one is very important, come here, this is the last one, third one. So, this is the last one, this is for gas insufflation, please remember, this is how, this is for gas insufflation, you please close, zoom it close, you can, you can see the close, you can zoom it close, you can see the values you can increase here. So, we can set up the values, these are the values set. So, maximum value we can use in a laparoscopy is only 15 millimeters mercury, please remember the maximum value we can use is 15 millimeter. So, this is for gas insufflation, what gas is connected to this machine? Please go behind, if you see the machine back side you can see there is a cylinder connected there, that is a CO2 cylinder, that is a carbon dioxide cylinder which is connected back to this machine, that is a carbon dioxide cylinder connected back to this machine. So, please do not forget what are the components of laparoscopy, you can write an essay question with this, monitor, camera, connected to scope, light source, carbon dioxide insufflator, carbon dioxide insufflator, because if you cannot just push all the gas inside, we need a control, this will control how much gas should go inside, this is the carbon dioxide insufflator. So, now you can come here, these are the various instruments we use in laparoscopy, see all instruments are long. Previously, we saw all the instruments are short, these are all long instruments, you can see the long instruments, all are long instruments we are using. So, these are all long instruments, okay. All these are various instruments, same like uh, open instrument, we have a 2, 3, 4 subs here, we have a non 2, 3, 4 subs here, can you see? This is a non 2, 3, 4 subs, this is 2, 3, 4 subs, this is like an artery 4 subs, this is known as Maryland. So, usually they do not ask you names of laparoscopic instruments, so do not worry, this is Maryland instrument for holding the tissues, it looks like an artery forceps. This is like a non toothed forceps, this is like a toothed forceps. These are the three forceps we have. There are many more instruments, I am not going into that, we have needle holder, we have everything, suction, everything is available, what we have in open, everything is available there. So, but for your exams, usually they ask question from this guy only, this is a very important question for your exam. So, please remember this question. So, this is a you can see here, I am very closely uh, zoom it, very closely zoom it. If you see, I am pulling it, I am leaving it, it is like a working like a spring. If you see here, very closely you zoom this, close zoom, this is having a sharp tip, can you note the sharp tip? But if I am going to leave the spring, it will close, you have a blunt tip. So, this is acting like a valve. Now, I am going to show you how this is going to act, how this is going to act, I am going to show you now. So, see here, let us assume this is an abdominal wall. I am going to puncture the abdominal wall, you see, I am puncturing the abdominal wall, it has not yet opened. Now, 
it has come inside. So therefore, as it comes, the moment it comes inside, the blunt will come out and it will not injure the bowel. That is the main use of this needle. This is Viri's needle. Through this way, we insufflate gas. This Through this way, we insufflate gas into the abdomen. So this is Viri's needle. See again, I, am, I can blindly, without worrying anything, we can just like that enter inside. The, you can hear the sound. The moment it goes inside, the Viri's valve opens up and it will not injure the bowel. That is the main use of this needle. This is a Viri's needle used for closed technique of laparoscopy. Closed technique of laparoscopy, we use this needle, Viri's needle. So come and see these trochas now. These are trochas. This can be available in a blunt method or sharp method. These are sharp trochas I am having here. This is a 10 mm trochar. You can see this is a 10 mm trochar. This is a 5 mm trochar. So I will put all these trochas inside the abdomen like this. All these trochas will be, I'm, while I am operating, I will put these trochas like this and I will operate passing these instruments inside. The instruments will be going inside my abdomen through these trochars. That is why you can see the instruments are made in such a way, there is a washer, no gas will come out as you pass it inside. So it is made in such a way, this is 5 mm trocar, this is 10 mm trocar. Like this we use multiple trocars while operating. So please don't forget these trocars and Viri's needle, all these things you should not forget for your exams. Okay. So please remember these points. So these are all the various instruments used and Viri's needle is a 100 times asked MCQ for your exams. Please don't make mistake, this is the first instrument we use in inserting through the umbilic near the umbilicus to insufflate the gas okay to insufflate the gas we use this viris needle please don't forget all these points okay thank you